Colin, just how would you assess your round out there today? Um, it was really solid. Um, I'd say two thirds of it. I mean, I could have placed where my ball was in the fairway and where I wanted it to be. It was as probably as good of a driver I could have hit. Hit a couple squirrely ones at the end, but it's going to happen sometimes. You're going to hit a couple bad shots, but overall, it was a solid day. Putting felt really good. It was nice to make some some decently length putts and. Uh, Hopefully we just have one of those days, you know, or three days of just really good ball striking because it still does feel really good. What have the emotions, the that, sorry. Right, we're impressed by the fact that you have white pants on and they seem almost perfectly clean except for a little bit. So yeah. you must have been in a lot of fairways and in a lot of greens. Uh, I mean, they're definitely dirty. I didn't do the Tom Kim out there. I definitely <laughs> I saw what he's done. Uh, interesting style choice. But, yeah, you know, it's a lot of fairways, a lot of greens. Um, I was in control of my golf ball, and that's what I've been asking for, you know, for the past month and a half. That's what I've been able to see, especially since Detroit. And uh, even though the Open didn't go my way and missed the cut, still felt like I had control of the golf ball. So it is what it is. I know we talked in Detroit about kind of eliminating one side of the golf course. Was that really when things started to turn that week? Yeah, 100 percent. I mean, when I'm able to free it up and aim down the left and just swing and know the ball's not going to go left, I mean, yeah, you're going to hit some here and there, but um, just being able to swing freely, that's the best thing you can do. You know, just setting up to the ball, not worrying about where it's going to go, just knowing, okay, this is what, what I want to do. How do I execute that shot? We know that you're going to help the people in Maui. Can you talk about where, you, where the money you're going? You're giving $1,000 for every birdie. Yeah. Where does the money go? Uh, we've decided on two uh, charities, Maui United Way and World Central Kitchen, um, to help out, you know, not just people in Maui, but obviously hopefully people in Hawaii because um, it's, it's everywhere. It's devastating what, what we've been able to see or what we've been seeing. Uh, the before and after photos are just heartbreaking, um, knowing that, you know, my entire dad's side of the family, you know, grew up there. My grandparents were born in Lahaina. We had the restaurant out there. That's what the photo was. Uh, we went there as kids. You know, it's a special place. And... Uh, it's amazing how many things you take for granted, you know, really in life. And uh, when you see that, it's just it's heartbreaking. Is that restaurant affected? Was it also? Uh, was it it, on it's, Front it's been gone. They sold oh, the restaurant okay. before um, before I was even born. So that was something that I never got to, you know, experience. Um, but you know, it was along Front Street. It was right there. I mean, we used to walk by. I think it was like a jewelry store now um, that took over at least took over now and um yeah it's it's just terrible and you still have relatives there right I plenty mean, of relatives uh, a lot of them are in oahu now oh, okay. um so I, I think there's only a couple that are in maui i think they're all right but um just to hear you know i woke up this morning just checking the news and to see how many people have you know passed away from that it's yeah it's it's i'm, I'm at a loss for words do you try to put that aside during a round? Do you embrace it? How do you, how did you kind of approach that? Yeah, I mean, look, uh, I want to make a lot of birdies for them. You know, I, <laughs> one of my friends texted me, they're like, okay, $100,000. I'm like, shoot, 100,000, 100, 100 birdies in three day and three tournaments is, uh, I don't know if that's ever been done, um, but it would be a, a great feat to say the least. Um, look, uh, it's hard not to think about it, but at the end of the day, I'm here to win. Um, it's in the back of my mind for sure. It's it's extra motivation, you know, to, and just perspective, I think, when we're out there. From an awareness standpoint on what's going on in Maui and in Hawaii, are you hoping that, you know, your performance, what you're doing, what you put on Instagram yesterday will put maybe more of the, you know, PGA Tour golfers' eyes on what's happening out there? Maybe someone, you know, some of them will donate some things as well? I hope so. Um, I know, it's, I mean, look, it's one of the best places in the world we travel to. Uh, you know, year in and year out to go to Kapalua, play golf there. And uh, hopefully, you know, I'm going to ask, I know I'm going to ask my sponsors, I'm going to ask people that I know just to help out. I mean, anything helps, you know, really anything, you know, per birdie I make, whatever you can afford, whatever you want to put in, um, it's, it's a generous donation. So I'm going to be pushing hard to make those birdies and hopefully everyone else can reach out and uh, help, us, help out as much as they can. You're going to do it for all three? All three, all throughout the playoffs, yes, sir. Yep. This is a... Uh bit of a change of pace, but the talk of the golf world today is about the book excerpt about Phil. I wondered what the reaction was amongst you guys where, amongst, when you heard about it or if you've heard about it. Yeah, look, I, I, the truth, I don't know what the truth exactly is, but for what everyone's reporting, that's a lot of bets per day. <laughs> I don't know how I'd be able to play. Um, look, I, I have no business commenting on it. I, I know Phil, but I don't know Phil that well to, to know what his personal life was like. I don't know Billy Walters, right? Billy Billy Walters. So I, I I have no you know I have no spot on commenting. And then totally different subject. I'm curious what you think. This is now I think I guess the second year of Memphis as the first playoff event. What do you think about it as 
the, being the first playoff event? And what is it? Do you take a different approach in the first playoff event as opposed to the second playoff event? I guess it partly depends on where you are in the standings. You know, the, I mean, the past two years, um, I've had to come out here. I think I've been in roughly in the same spot in the FedEx Cup. So, you know, these are big weeks for me. Um, when you're in the top 10, you know, you're, you're not cruising, but you're able to just kind of, if you have one bad week, you know you're making it to East Lake. You know, you can still play well at, at Olympia. You know, I've, I've got to have two good weeks here to make sure I, I get there. Um, so, no, it's nothing's taken lightly. Uh, I think this is a f fantastic golf course, especially when it's not wet. It sucks that it's, it's wet and, you know, we, we've seen a lot of mud, but that's Mother Nature. You can't control that. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate it. Thank you.